One month from tomorrow is the total solar eclipse that will have a major impact on our state. And this morning, we're looking at how environmental shifts that come with it can initiate some different reactions from animals. From the darkness, a drop in temperature and a potential change in the wind. Our Wendy Mills is here to unlock the mysteries of animal behavior when it comes to an event like this, right, Wendy? Yes, well, first, I just want to say no cause for alarm, but full service pet store Country Max says it is getting a bunch of calls from people asking about what, if anything, they need to do for their pets or any outdoor animals during the total solar eclipse, April 8th. So here you go. The pet experts at Country Max say animals take their behavioral cues from nature. So sure, some might act a little wonky, you could say, but let's start on the farm. The darkening sky during a total solar eclipse is like a signal that it is bedtime. Horses will probably head to the barn and call it a day. Okay, chickens, who knew? The country max says they have poor vision at night, so will likely settle into their coops to roost because they think it'll be nighttime. This one is for the birds, and yes, you will definitely hear the birds chirping. If you're looking out your back window, you may definitely see some birds start to head for the trees or their nests. Uh, they will naturally think, you know, the temperature is going to go down, it's going to get dark. So they're going to start to say, oh, maybe the day's over. You could even hear their song change. Um, so listen for that. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how much they notice and uh, how, how much they react. Marty, let's go on out. Come on, Marty. So what Ready? will Marty the Golden Retriever do? No, you do not need doggy eclipse glasses. Dogs take their cues from humans, so they are not going to look at the sun. They're too busy sniffing around or playing fetch to notice. But they could get anxious, so best to leave them at home and inside. <laughs> All right, some things to think about time-wise. Now keep this in mind, April 8th, starting at about... 2.05-ish or so, the moon will begin to appear to move in front of the sun. Totality begins around 3.20 or so. Now, that depends where you live in the state. It'll last uh, 3 minutes, 38 seconds or so, and continue those phases until around 4. So, guys, just listen for those birds. It's eerily quiet, but you hear the birds. And, of course, if you're in a place with a crowd, there will be all these oohs and ahs. But when you look up, don't forget, you've got to make sure that you have your eclipse glasses on. Your dog doesn't need them, but you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, though. I would have never thought to, like, stop and listen for the birds. Yeah, they think it's nighttime, oh, yeah. so they start yeah. uh, chirping and doing all kinds of things. <laughs> so three minutes, three and a half minutes, you said? That'll be plenty to yeah, be Yeah, roughly so. so. Yeah. Yep, good. depending where you live. Yeah, it's amazing to think all this is going to happen one month from tomorrow. Wendy, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest news and weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.